All right, homies, I'm just going to get right to it. Um, so we have multi-out and we have multi-out advance. So the, really the only difference is the routing down here. Um, you are going to have kick in and kick out and then snare top and snare bottom in advanced. But with um, the regular multi-out, it's just going to be kick and snare. So I did both of the routings. Um, I'm only going to show you uh, multi-out, but uh, on the screen, you are going to see the two um, naming conventions that I used um, just so I can differentiate each channel when we go into Ableton. So what I'll do, uh, the first thing that we need to do is we need to go to here in presets and under factory, which this is amazing, Contact 7 now has this, which they may have had it on the other ones, but they have it here. Um, factory, stereo 16, bam, done. Everything is done except for naming. So again, I'm going to refer to, um, since we're doing the multi-out, I'm going to refer to my little uh, screen grab here. And then I will get this all labeled out, just like you see. And then we'll come back and then I'll show you the rest. Okay, so now that that's done, I am going to save the current output section state as default for all formats just so we don't have to do this again. And what I have noticed is when I go to a different session, again, since I made this in uh, multi-out advance, um, when I go to my multi-out advance one, um, this changes to my uh, multi-out routing. So multi-out advance routing. And so um, this shouldn't matter, but you know, if it does, what I did was I actually saved this as a preset. So you can see here, and so, you know, if that does end up happening, you can just go back and go to user. And then you have these two here, multi-out advance and multi-outs. And you may need to do, like, if you have other kits, this may not work. Um, this particular setup um, may not work um, with the other kits, which is, is fine. Um, the only reason why is, you know, th this one has different symbols um, <clears throat> compared to the other kits, you know, and like different amount of toms and this and that. So just know that, you know, if you have a different kit, this will still work. However, you need to um, name them um, accordingly. So kick in, kick out overheads. Now, it wasn't really confusing to figure out. It just took a few minutes to figure out like how when I click this button, what happens down here. And so now that I did that kind of back end work, I can name these accordingly and then hit this button and it should work. However, um, well, the thing with um, contact is you need to restart contact um, in order for this naming convention to work. And so what I found out was if you click this button right here, it kind of does like a reload. And so if I hit reload after I did all the naming, And then I go into multi out. You can see everything says kick right now. And you can see that I kind of freaked out, but I didn't hit multi out yet. So if I hit multi out, you can see that kick in and kick out are in kick. Overheads, overheads, mono, mono, room, room. Go to snare, snare, snare. You can see it groups them. That's why we did it like this. Overhead, mono, everything matches up. We can go to toms, everything matches up. You can see it grouped up with the toms overheads and everything like that same thing with the symbols individual crash ride c ride everything like that so it worked um <clears throat> so again with multi-out advance you are going to have access to every single tom so you're going to have to go instead of toms it's going to say tom one tom two tom, th tom three and then you're going to go over to hats there's going to be a hats version um and then the same thing with snare snare top snare bottom kick kick in kick out so just keep that in mind if you want the advance. I personally like just to keep them bust like this, bust, grouped. Um, just so when I bring it in Ableton, it's I don't have to do it because I'm going to do that within Ableton anyway. And so, you know, if you want access to those within Ableton, do advanced. Um, and again, 
screenshots. Um, you can do it that way. However, again, I'm doing multi out just for ease of use. Um, and so this is done. And again, we did the save for all formats and everything is done here. However, when I go into here to start routing and let me count out how many we need. So we have kick. So kick is actually, uh, this MIDI channel here. Your MIDI channel is actually your kick channel. And what I'll do is I'll usually name it kick MIDI, just so, you know, like when I'm cruising, I just want to know, okay, that's my MIDI channel. That's where all my MIDI is going to go. So you'll put all your MIDI in here. You know what I mean? So anyways, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make, and we have kick. So we need snare, toms, hats, splash, ride, crash, ride, stack, overhead, mono, room one, and room two. So those are going to be all of our channels there. So what we need to do is we need to select them all. And then we need to go to kick MIDI, which is technically contact. We, we relabel it kick MIDI because that's where our MIDI is going. Um, <clears throat> the thing is, is now that that part is done in our audio from our audio, or I mean our post mixer, this is going to change. However, you can see that it's not labeled how we labeled it within contact. So you can see it's labeled, it's still labeled, but we reset contact, but we didn't reset it within, a. it's really dumb, I know. We didn't reset it within Ableton, and so it doesn't take into account that naming convention. Now, if you don't care, you can go off and just start. And, you know, if you know what each of these things are, do it. Now, for the people like me who are kind of OCD with this stuff, what I do is I restart contact. So I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to re-add it into our kick MIDI here. And it still kept our naming conventions, you could see here. But let me add... Um, the new kit back in okay so we have the new kit back in and i didn't save anything you can see it's still default but that's okay because since we did it this way um we did it the way that it wants us to to uh, do the multi out the grouped multi out if i hit multi out bam done we already did it so then come over to kick mini and actually i'm sorry go to the audio channels here Select them all, kick MIDI, which is our contact channel. Now, if, if we did it right, if I did it right, there you go. So you can see snare, toms, hats, splash, and so on and so forth. Let me just add these real quick. Okay. So now that that's done, now we can select them all, change the color of them, whatever color you want, and then we can start naming them. And naming them is as easy as looking here. You know what I mean? Since we, we did all that back, back end homework. There, let me do this real fast. Oh, um, so I'm moving to each channel just with tab. Just if you didn't know, just in case. Okay, so we have everything labeled. Everything is labeled, everything is ready to go, except for one thing. The most important thing, we need you to select all again, and we need to make this monitor from off to in. Now, if we did everything correctly, if we put a groove in here, we should hear every single channel. And if not, I need to redo this video. We'll find out. Okay, so it worked, uh, which is awesome. So, I mean, we're done there. If you wanted to end the video here, you could. However, there's a few things that I do personally to kind of 
um, keep it a little bit cleaner, cleaner. Um, what I do is I usually bust my drums, so I'm going to bust this all together. So I just select it all by holding shift, control G or command G. And then we're immediately going to name this drum bus. And then I'm going to change this color here to that same color. So we have everything in here. The cool thing about Ableton 11 is you can group within groups. So I already know that I am going to group those rooms together, rooms. And then I'm going to also do that for these as well, the symbols. I'm going to do symbols. And so now, I mean, everything is essentially set up. We are ready to start writing. We're ready to start mixing, whatever needs to be done. Let's say that you don't want to do all this and you have Ableton 11. Um, I am going to put I made a session with multi out and multi out advance um, and I will put a link up to my Gumroad so you can download that. Um, I'll put everything in there and I will also include these presets here. If um, I believe it works. So the way that I would probably go about like let's say I downloaded this preset, the way that I would go about doing it is I would save the preset so I can see where this location is up here. And then what I would do is I would copy this and then I would download them and I would put them inside of this link here. So then you would just go to your folder, paste this into the browser, the folder browser, and it'll bring you here and just put them in here. Um, and if you need help figuring that out, you can always hit me up on Instagram. Um, at Chris Padan. Yes, I will put these on my gun road. It'll only be like a buck or something ridiculous, but you'll have multi out, multi out advance, and both presets. So you don't have to worry about doing any of this if you don't want to. But if you want to do it, this is how you do it. All right, dudes. Later.